Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today we're going to be cleaning an electric air cleaner on this oil furnace. Right up here. Okay, right now as you can hear the air conditioning is running, but we're going to shut the power off to the furnace. And we're also going to shut the power off to the electronic air cleaner right here. We're going to shut that button off. We're going to kill all power to this before we open this door and go inside and take the cells out and the pre-filters. We're going to let it sit probably five minutes before we do any of that once the power is off. Okay, the lighting is not good, but we're going to open this up and take our air filters out. So we just got to grab the handle here and pull. And we can take that off. Okay, put it down on the floor. Now we're going to take our first air cleaner out. Now, you may not be able to see this, but there's an arrow right here. That's the way the airflow is to the furnace. Just remember when you put these back to check that arrow and make sure they're pointing down. So we'll take the air cleaners out. I'll grab the other one. And then we'll take the pre-filters out. There is, I believe, two on the top on this one. <clears throat> They don't look too bad, but we'll clean them up anyway. And then there's about three or four on the bottom. One, two, three, so three. And they're just short ones like this. They look like they're dirty, but I think there's like a black uh, foam inside. We got everything out now. Okay, I just wanted to show you, I put some hot water in the laundry tub. We're gonna put the cells in there and then we're gonna rinse off the cells before we spray this stuff on it's called dax and i'll put a link down in the description below if i can find the stuff for you i'll put a link down to that sir uh, product down there so i put the first cell in the sink and a little bit of water just to show you how dirty it gets i'll turn on the hot water and we'll give this a spray and rinse it off get any of that loose stuff off before we put the cleaner in there and I brought you in a little bit closer so you can see that the water is turning black. We'll just, like I said, we'll just rinse these off. Maybe spin it around. Do the same thing on this side. Then I'll grab the other cell and do the same thing. Look at that water. It's going gray. Okay, so we got the cells in here again, and we're gonna spray it down with this Dax. This stuff really works well. Like I said, I'll leave a link below in the description of this video. Spin it around. Put it on a 45 degree angle on the short side. There we go. Now what we'll do is we'll move this one to the side and we'll get the other one in here. So I moved you, moved the camera to this side so you can see better. And there's no light shadow much. So we'll, like I said, I'll continue spraying these, this uh, cell. All right, so we'll let them sit here now for about 15 minutes. Let the dock soak into them, clean them up really good. And we'll check any of the wires that are in here make sure that all the wires are clean if you have any that has kind of dirt at all you can take like a toothbrush and clean them off these uh thin wires in here you can hardly see them but you gotta be really careful with them because they get brittle over time and you'd have to replace them so i've never had that issue um so i'm just gonna check everything make sure they're clean if not then we'll uh, like i said we'll get a toothbrush in there and we'll scrub them down a little bit then of course we have our pre-filters. I'll just give them a quick little spray. I have a couple old baking pans that my wife doesn't need anymore and we put them to use. Just give them a couple sprays like that, put it aside, do the next one. Then we have the larger ones here. There we go, all the pre-filters are sprayed with cleaner and we'll dunk those into the laundry tub as well. So what we're going to do is just rinse them on everything off really good and uh, set it all out to dry. All right, now we're going to rinse off the cells themselves. And uh, now we're just going to rinse them all off and we'll put them aside to dry for the night. 
and then until tomorrow evening and then I'll bring you back and I'll show you how to put everything back in. Okay, so we're about 19, 20 hours later. It's the next day and I had these out sitting beside the furnace here through the night. It was They were still a bit wet when I checked them earlier this morning. So I put them out on our deck out in the sunshine and they dried up really good now. So we're going to install everything back. We're going to turn on the, the air cleaner and the furnace and uh, everything should be good. All right, so the first thing we'll do to replace these cells and pre-filters is to take the door off. Then we'll grab some of the pre-filters here and we'll put the small narrow ones around the top. So that's, we'll just put them back the way they were. Now just remember, I, I really want to stress this, make sure that your, your filters, your pre-filters and your uh, cells are dry before you replace everything. Because remember, it's called an electronic air cleaner. Now electricity and water are not a good mixture. Okay, so we got our pre-filters in. Now we'll put our cells in. If you have a cleaner like this one, it's called ElectroAir, high efficiency air cleaner. You'll have two cells. Doesn't matter which one goes in first, as long as the arrow is in the right direction. And these, the airflow goes down. So as long as we get that right, everything should work good. So here we have the arrows going down and we have the handle. So you know that the handle is the first to go in. You're not going to put it in with the handle in first. The handle will be what you're hanging on to, so it will go last, if that makes any sense. Okay, arrows down, everything's good. Now all we have to do is replace the door on the electronic air cleaner. Snap it shut. Okay, now I'm going to go over to the wall, turn the power on, and then we'll turn the power on to the electronic air cleaner. I hope this video helped you. I made this video because you never know who may not know how to clean their air cleaner. You may have bought a home that was previously owned by somebody else and the manual got lost or something like that. Um, I have a manual, so that's how I, I always look back to it because I don't do it as often as I should. So I find myself looking back at the manual just to make sure I'm doing all the steps properly. So I thought it'd be a good idea to make this video. If this video helped you, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment below if it helped you. And we'll see you on the next one.